My father was diagnosed a couple of years back with Alzheimer's and he has about 70% hearing loss. The most difficult challenge I feel is being able to communicate with him. He really only talks to my mother, um, you know, who tries to engage him with everybody else, but um, he ends up being a recluse and staying with himself and not really talking to others. Um, part of the disease process is that they lose their filters and their ability to be in the moment becomes much more enhanced. So actually play and improv uh, is a very good way, it's a really good modality for getting on the same wavelength as people with dementia. That the way to get to um, engaging with someone with dementia is, is, is through activating those five senses. And that kind of gets them out of their headspace and kind of in the moment and um, can get them to kind of engage. We really approach care from a person-centered approach, which means understanding what the person's capabilities are and how to encourage them to maintain those abilities and, and maybe even exceed them a little bit. And in order to do that, you really need to know that person's life story, their interests, their hobbies, everything about them as much as you can. So I think that's really a good direction for now because it's the only thing we can really be doing. And if, if we can get better and better at that, I think that we can help people, significantly help more people with dementia and their families. A member care engagement station is a part of a sensory therapy program. Um, its goal is to engage with the resident's senses and provide a sense of enjoyment, a way to interact with other people, be it caregivers or family members. So technology, uh, for example, with the memory experience stations might play a role in helping trigger people's positive memories, creating uh, a new mood or a feeling state that would help somebody feel much more settled and um, comfortable in the moment. These are still real people who can experience all the emotions, so don't treat them like children. You know, they live long, full, involved lives and they're, they're, you know, they're smart and they have long histories and they have a lot to share and a lot to enjoy. So don't treat them like they're a five-year-old. Sort of changing the narrative in how we think about dementia care from one of suffering and horrible loss to one of joy.